Hi guys, welcome back, welcome back. Um, today we are going to look at my design team project for Release the Craft in. Um, this is her new, I believe it's called Witch of the Woods series. Um, there's a main kit and I think there's maybe a, like a, a uh, add-on. Anyway, I was very excited about this because I love the woods. I live in the woods. And when I saw the kit, I kind of wanted to make it less dark and a little more like whimsy goth. Like think Practical Magic vibes, like the uh, Phoebe Buffet kind of vibe. Like a little witchy, but a little, um, I don't know, woodstocky at the same time. I don't know how to explain, a little boho maybe. Anyway. So this is the cover that I created, and I'm very, very happy with this cover. It has this really cute um, vintage lace that I have been hoarding forever on it. And um, yeah, so, you know, it's all about, uh, say, a natural boho vibe. So let's just jump right in. I call mine Into the Woods. And here is the first page and it has this little flap that opens up like this it has a little pocket in here which has the days of the week and then there's another little pocket back here which has a tag from Priscilla's kit These printouts are not from Priscilla's kit, but um, were very witchy and very nature related. So that one I actually shrunk down because I like the way it poked through this little cutout that I made in the pocket. Now the pockets and things do not have the cutouts. That was kind of like my theme for my book. And here, this is not part of the kit, but it's also a little witchy printout that I had in my stash, so. And that closes up like that. Now let's move on to the next page. Next page is for writing. This is um, some eco print. This is not part of the kit. I left a lot of room for journaling in this one. Um, I thought if it really was going to be like a grimoire or, you know, a book of shadows or something like that somebody would want more room to write in it so this is part of the kit and this is also part of the kit you see where I'm getting the, the witchy boho vibes from this is also part of the kit just some eco dye again eco dye this is part of the kit and I love this like wolf dog so I can just imagine, you know, the witch living in this hollow tree. Here she's drying her herbs, and here's her wolf dog guarding the place. Love that. More eco dye. This is part of the kit. This is part of the kit, and this says Magic of the Forest, and it's bottled, which I thought was very, very cool. Eco dye. Eco dye. And then um, this page has a pocket in the back here. This is just some stuff out of my stash. Again, not part of the kit, but very witchy, so I included it. Put this pocket in the back here. And then this clip comes off. And there's a pocket here. And this tag is from Priscilla's kit. Isn't it adorable? I love snails. And then, of course, again, not part of the kit, but another little witchy vibe printout. And that stuff tucks in this pocket. And then this pocket is an envelope that is part of the kit. I just cut a little window in it because, again, I like the way this shone through and then again this is not part of the kit but it's 
some really cute witchy vibes going on there as well. So, fold that back up. And then the way I punch the holes, I like to put the little thing in there. Okay, and then we're gonna clip it shut again with the clip so I don't lose the clip. <laughs> As I'm prone to do, if I set anything down on my desk, it is then lost forever. Okay. And then on this side, um, I used one of those uh, pocket dies. This is part of the kit. This is part of the kit. There were a lot of, of um, tags and stuff, and I did not use half of them, so... And this is just for my stash, so just some bits and bobs that maybe if a witch was walking around in the woods. And this is not from the kit. This is an actual photograph. This little um, thing that says Magic of the Forest, I did cut that out of a page of the kit, so yeah. And then this is a clear pocket, which again goes all the way through. This is a tag from Priscilla's kit. Look at that cute little snail. Isn't he adorable? And then just a mushroom uh, tag from Priscilla's kit. Oh, this um, border at the bottom, also from Priscilla's kit. So let's put these back to show through the window so they look cute on the other side. And then this is just some paper from my stash, and this is from the kit, and I love this visual. It's just something magical definitely going on in that part of the woods. Again, another eco dye. This is part of the kit, and there's our witchy, practical magic kind of vibes. And then this I made out of pieces of the kit. This was a flap. It did not have this cut out in it. I put the cut out in it because I like that was my theme to be able to see through. I love that this says make your own magic and I love how she has this kind of witchy boho crown on. This flap sock. It's just plain on the back. This is one of those um, Tim Holtz Sizzik um, dies and again just made some tags out of the kit and stuff in my stash down here. This is just something I punched out of a piece that was left over in the kit. This under the trees is a cutout from the kit and that flaps open like that. This is just uh, something I got off Pinterest with the witch runes. This um, tag down here that says wild is part of the kit, but this is just a photograph of the woods I got off of Pinterest. It's a little place to write there. And then this is a double pocket and I made these two tags to go in here this tag is part of the kit and this circle is part of the kit so yeah I made those to go in this pocket but because it has a window on both sides that I created one moment slide these back in so I know where they go and then this flaps down and then um, this is a pocket this is part of the kit which I love this be a voice not an echo amazing sentiment I'm gonna add that to my life immediately and this is an envelope from the kit I just lined it with some washi and that goes back here oops knock something down on my desk <laughs> ignore the big bang hope it didn't scare anyone um, and then this closes back up like this and we do the little closure and then this is just some scrap of paper out of my kit this is or out of my stash this is part of the kit some writing space this is part of the kit I love these little pops of like the magenta too. And then this pocket is part of the kit. I just added some uh, lace and ribbon. This particular image is part of the kit. I just put on some paper for my stash. This uh, 
uh, tag is part of the kit. This is magic. This tag is part of the kit. I just backed it on some uh, file folder. Make it give it a little substance. I like my I like my tags to be a little heavier. Um, this is gorgeous. This is part of the kit. This is just some scrapbook paper from my stash. Scrapbook paper from my stash. See the boho, whimsy goth kind of feel to that. This is part of the kit. Some eco dye. The other side of that beautiful image of the magic of the woods. This is from my stash, just some scrapbook paper. And then this was a tag that I made into a pocket. This is part of the kit. This flap opens up like this. This is just a photograph I pulled off of Pinterest. This is a pocket with double windows that I made. And here are some tags from the kit. I just printed eco paper on the back and I should have made them a little heavier because they are definitely difficult not to bend when I put them back in the pocket. Okay, and that flaps down like this. And we have two pockets here and these tags are part of the add-on kit. I just backed them with some scrapbook paper and if you wanted to write on them, you could just do writing and then glue it on the back. This is just some washi from my stash. Okay, let's close this back up. And then this tag and this flag are part of the kits. This is some paper from my stash. This flips open like this. This is part of the kit. And then this pocket, this is one of Priscilla's tags. This is a little file folder that's part of her kit. I lined it with washi, if I can get it open. The washi was a little sticky. I don't know why. But anyway, so I just lined it with some washi. I think it like got too warm or something in the container that I kept my washi. It was very sticky on both sides. And I think I got that washi in a kit from your creative studios okay and then I made like again another double window pocket page okay and I just learned a very important lesson about not putting <laughs> brads through after you have your tags in the pockets because look at what happened <laughs> and that's why it wouldn't come out okay so here is a tag from Priscilla's kit and here's another tag from Priscilla's kit one goes in the window pointing this direction, which I'm not going to shove all the way back down in. And one goes in the window pointing this direction. Okay. And let's close this back up. And then, of course, here is another one of those Sizzix tag cuts. Just has some stuff from my stash in it. And this is from Priscilla's kit. And then just, just some bits and bobs. This one had mushrooms on it, so I thought it would be pretty cool in here. And that's just it there. And this closes up like that. Okay, then on this side I have two window pockets that fold out like this. They also have tags. From Priscilla's kit now. This has um, is backed with some scrapbook paper, but I thought I think this is from the add-on. I thought that that um, feather was very beautiful. And then this was part of like a triptych, but I only needed two, so I cut them apart. And that's also a tag from Priscilla's kit. These are easier to get out because you can pinch them. <laughs> Look at that to make it easier to slide in and out. And here's the other side. Part of the tag. And then this is also part of, I believe, an add on, which is beautiful. Pinch 
touch it. Come on. Be my friend. That can go in there. And then this is just some paper from my stash. And this is a tag from Priscilla's kit. I did cut it down a little shorter. And this is part of Priscilla's um, miscellaneous stuff from her kit. And then this is not part of the kit, but it is a printout of a tarot card that I thought was very witchy and made sense in this journal. And then this is part of the kit. Some more eco dye. Some more eco dye. This is part of the kit. Part of the kit. Part of the kit. And honestly, I'm not sure if this page is right side up or upside down, but it really doesn't matter much. <laughs> Still a beautiful visual. This is part of the kit. Part of the kit. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that visual. Part of the kit. It's just some eco dye. Eco dye. Part of the kit. This is um just a picture that I printed off of Pinterest and she does have a word sheet that comes with it. Well, not comes with it, but it is available in her shop. And, um, yeah, I really like it. I, I wanted to use more of that. I forgot that I even had it. Here is a tag from the kit. This is just an eco dye tag that I had in my stash. This opens up like this. I didn't put anything here. I still put something there, I suppose. Here we have another one of those clear pockets. I hope... Hope I didn't glue my tags in this one. Nope. These are tags from Priscilla's kit. And again, I did shorten them a little. They're a little longer than this. Just backed them with some paper. Love that. Did you ever notice that sometimes when you use um, handmade paper, it smells kind of musty, even if it's not old? And it adds to the witchiness a little bit, I think. And then this is an envelope from the kit. I just cut a little window out of it because I like the way this visual poke through it. And these are, this is from Priscilla's kit. And then the little pieces of paper that are poking through there, they're just from my stash. So I need to get them out. Put that back in there pocket from the kit. Again, just some stuff from my stash. This is from Priscilla's kit. I did shorten it so it would fit in the pocket because I wanted to have this flap come over it. It flaps up like that. And then here we are in the back of the book. This is just um, a little window with uh, one of the flags from the kit and um, actually the flag end was on this end but I wanted the, I wanted it to be poking out of here so I just cut another flag on the end. This is a page from the kit I just cut down to make a flap. This is just a picture I took off of Pinterest. This is part of Priscilla's kit and again just a picture that I took off of Pinterest. And that is the end. Of the witch of the witch book and this is just this is part of the add-on I believe and then here's what the back looks like so that is my into the woods book oh these were um part of the kit these little you'll find me among the trees and um beneath the trees part of the word page I shrunk it down a lot so that it would fit on my specimen tags. And then I'll just tie check. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will um, 
show you where you can get the kit and make sure that I have the name right in the description box. But this is my design team project for Release the Craft In um, for her Witch of the Woods kit. And I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a great week. I will see you again real soon. I'll talk to you again. Take care of you. Be kind to each other. Love ya. Bye.